get to know about the latest events at Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines in its mission of communicating the good news of Jesus Christ on air, online, and on the ground. Here is Dan Andrew Kura for The President's Report. Here at FEBC, our mission is to make an impact in the world by communicating the Word of God through radio and other relevant media channels. And for 74 years, there's no doubt that the Portable Missionary or PM Radio has been instrumental in driving forward the broadcast ministry here in the Philippines. In this day and age, with the prevalence of new technology that uh, promises to make communication even faster, wider, and better, we believe that the portable missionary radios still have a place in every town, village, and household. Why and how, you may ask? Well, keep on listening, and if you're watching this on Facebook, don't scroll away. Feel free to like, comment, and share so that more people would know about the Lord's ongoing work through Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines. Good day to you. I'm your friend, Dan Andrew, and welcome to this episode of The President's Report. In the mid-1948, early days of DZAS and its broadcast, FEBC workers realized that many people within reach of the station signal could not tune in because they did not have electricity or radios at home. Due to the high cost of manufacturing electronics at the time, FEBC sought to design and construct radios by hand using available materials that they have. The first radio boxes were carved out of mahogany. Inside, it contained the electronic parts of the radio pre-tuned to one station, FEBC. Many of the internal components were surplus materials from the war and scrap materials such as used aluminum transcription discs used in our audio recordings. Missionaries brought these radios to rural villages within the station's reach, even as far as the tribal villages in the mountainous areas of Ifogao. In the process, someone coined the term portable missionary to describe these radios, and the name stuck. Also known as God's Amazing Talking Box, this little radio unit tirelessly preaches, comforts, and ministers to people in so many ways. God's unconditional love. That's the life-changing message heard over the PM radios. A message of friendship for a lonely and dejected person of compassion for the hurting and grieving, of reconciliation for the broken and lost, of hope for the hopeless and in despair, of abundant life here and for the hereafter. Through the PM radios, the message of God's love reaches people in far-flung villages, communities in exile, persons deprived of liberty, those who are bedridden due to sickness or old age, people with no access to Bibles and places where human missionaries cannot go. And as seeds of faith grow, more people are moved to share the life-changing message that they have heard. More than a handful of churches have sprung up and still stand today, which started from just a handful of radio listeners. As I end this report, I'd like to thank you our dear partners and listeners for your overwhelming support for the PM Radio Ministry of FEBC. Since our call for Handog Radio or Give a Radio each year, many have donated funds and helped us distribute PM radios to different communities even during the height of the COVID pandemic. Please continue to pray with us for the many, many PM radios that have been made available these past months. Many of these radios have been given to those who need to hear about God's love and compassion. May God use the radios to usher them towards a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ to make Him Savior. If you would like to be our partner in spreading the gospel through the PM radio ministry, feel free to send us a message through our FEBC Radio Facebook page or send us an email at info at And before I go, 
I'd like to invite you to our FEBC Friends Fellowship on July 30, that's a Saturday, and it will be held at the Methodist Prayer Garden and Conference Site in Taitai Rizal. The program will start promptly at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we highly encourage our listeners in Rizal and nearby areas to come join us, especially the young people, the young professionals who would like to be part of our broadcast ministry. And we do hope to see you there and make sure to bring a friend along. Thank you so much for joining me today. Once again, this has been your friend, Dan Andrew for The President's Report. May God continue to bless you and do take care. You've just heard The President's Report. If you would like to support the work of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines, please visit our website, donatenow.febc.ph or email us at info at for your questions or suggestions.